Our problem statement was from Srijana Charitable Trust. This is our team and our mentors. This presentation would cover our problem statement, our approach towards solving it, the technology used, project flow and future scope. The challenges identified by us were creating a network of ground partners and mobilizing resources for, from them. Use of leverage technology for the super lady, making the solution accessible for different languages and creating a feedback mechanism. The solution designed by us includes an easy to understand portal for upscaling, separate dashboards for volunteers, participants and super lady with an embedded inspiration corner to showcase journey, struggles and achievement stories of the members of the NGO and also use of language translator to serve the people with native languages. Tech stack which we used include React, Node.js and MongoDB. Now coming to the flow of our website, after login, the user will be rede redirected onto a separate dashboard based on role. The admin will have access to the super lady view list of simple users. The super lady will have access to track the process of simple users, create assessments and select courses for simple users. The third role that is simple users have access to take test up after completing a course language translator so that they can browse the website in the language convenient for them and a notification section for all the updates. Future scope includes improvement in UI announcement section which will be on super lady dashboard and send notifications for simple users, multiple device compatibility and offline learning. Now we will go ahead with the demonstration. So this is the main landing page for our website, which includes all of the events organized by the NGO and the user can read about the event easily by clicking on the read more button itself. So that he will be redirected to the page for the information provided for the event. The same is done for the achievement section as well, where if a woman has achieved something, then the reader can read about the event itself from the read more button. All the backend, and this data storage is deployed on the Heroku app. So there are three types of users here. The first is the admin or the NGO. The second is the super lady. And the third is a simple user who will be able to access all the courses provided by the super lady itself. So here comes the registration page. We'll enter all of the details. If some of the fields are kept unfilled, then we'll get an error message like here. If you've already registered, then you can log in by clicking here. So since we are new regist uh, registration, so I'll register as a student after logging. Since women and students are from different regions, so we try to make available all the courses in all possible regional languages. So for now, we have made all the courses available at English language. So we'll select English and then submit. This is the portal that the simple user, woman or a student can see on the screen. And these are the courses provided by the super lady itself. The student can access course provided by the super lady. The student can switch to the course only when the ongoing course is completed. So now on clicking on one of the courses like here, he will be redirected to a video of the course so that he or she can learn about the uh, she or she, he or she get training and they can be easily employed at different fields. So in this way, we can add the different courses either by YouTube videos or the Coursera courses or any of the courses that are free for the people. Now, real time tracking is done through various assessments like online quizzes. So for online quizzes, we have to click here and there comes a form that will contain the quiz. Right now, this form is closed because this will be updated only when the super lady has given access to the simple users so that they can perform the quiz and get tracked by the super lady itself. So that's all for the simple user. This is a super lady dashboard. Every super lady has its name, email ID, and mobile as its login credentials. These are the following functionalities of super lady. Super lady can disable or enable the uh, super user. She can upload the video links for a particular course so that simple users can watch from multiple sources. She can also send the notifications for a virtual meet or for offline meet. Uh, whatever way the simple user are comfortable with. Super user can also add other users uh, to a particular course by this name bar. So yeah, this is all about super lady.
so we have this admin dashboard uh, we have only implemented this uh, front end part in future we can implement this uh, in back end so whenever admin uh, comes into this dashboard he can list out every super uh, super list on the basis of the region like in bangalore region if admin clicks on the view uh, he will route into the spreadsheet and can see the database of that region admin can also add disable or delete the super user admin can check the progress of super user by the bar graph that how many simple users she added in a particular course how many quizzes she conducted or how many videos she uploaded for a course 